Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and this time we are playing as good old Kane, which is a very, very good one to start out as on a streak, to be honest, because Kane is pretty good. We also have this little, li weird little pebble this guy starts with. Basically, it does like no damage whatsoever, but has a really small chance to insta-kill whatever it hits. It's kind of a weird one. It's kind of a strange item, really, uh, but it exists and we can use it somewhat, I guess. Uh, I'd, I'd love to know like a build or something in which this is actually really good. I bet I bet there's something out there you can make work with this thing. But we'll be trading it away straight away for the riskiest of riskies, Mr. Crooked Penny. Uh, I had to try that right off the bat there. But Crooked Penny, I absolutely love. Um, it's obviously risky, but in a lot of scenarios, it's not that big of a risk. Like the shop, um, you can double the shop if you can't afford anything. Because if it deletes everything, you get a penny out of it that you wouldn't have otherwise got. And if it doubles everything, you get everything for free. So it's it's pretty top-notch, to be honest. It's pretty top-notch. We do like it quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, bit of a bit of a sort of funny start, to be honest. Um, didn't think we'd be seeing a Crooked Penny run right this second, but I'm always down for it. I mean, we, luckily, like I said, we're starting as Kane, so we can gobble up all of our pills and we have pretty good damage to start out. I mean, I think this guy is like the starter character now. Like, if you want to introduce this game to anyone, this is the character you pick. Obviously, some people would say Azazel, but Azazel doesn't play like regular characters do, so I think this one's much better. Uh, we can come in here, we can see what's what, and we can try and duplicate it. Unfortunately, we got unlucky there. That would have been a good item to grab, but we've not really lost anything because there's basically no chance we would have been able to afford any of that anyways. You need to, you need to chill out, my guy. I don't think there's any chance we'd be able to afford any of that anyway, so we've not really lost anything out of doing that. Um, if anything, like I said, we've gained a penny we otherwise wouldn't have had, so it's it's no sort of no foul. It's fine. I'm I'm happy for it, and we'll uh, we'll continue to do so as and when we cannot afford things. Obviously, this does mean that now I can't duplicate whatever we get from here, but we could get the fetus in a jar here. Or will this? Is this? I can't remember. Does this, does this give us the pony? Maybe it does. Because that would actually kind of be a shame, because I actually genuinely would want to take the Pony over Crooked Penny in this scenario. I don't know if I actually would. I'm undecided as of right now. Uh, but it's a very hard decision, I'll be honest, because Crooked Penny's a lot more fun, but uh, flight plus speed is very useful. Uh, mainly, obviously, the flight. I really don't know what I'd do, to be honest. I'm, 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 un I'm undecided. But it's weird that you get this guy on this floor. Very, very odd get this guy this early so yeah we do get the pony um this is really tricky i'll be honest because crooked penny is really good but flight can get us out of so many gems um we don't have spectral at the moment and it's only going to give us 0 0.2 speed it's not a lot of speed flight is super useful this is a really really hard decision i'll be honest a really hard decision indeed uh, secret room, just going to quickly check uh, where that could be. This is, honestly, very tough. Very tough indeed. We do get ourselves some extra stuff in here, lovely. And we get ourselves a card pack. Some copper bombs, I don't really like copper bombs, but I'll take them. Doubles the number of bombs we have, that's nice. Converts all of your soul hearts into a moral hearts. Spawns one mor a moral heart, okay. Hmm, yeah, this is honestly a super tricky one, because, yeah, I really, really want to stick with Crooked Penny, but Flight is just so goddamn good this early on. I think I'm going to stick with Flight, as, as as much as it pains me to do so. I think I'm going to stick with Flight. Um, second secret room, I'm not really sure about here. I'm sorry, Crooked Penny. You are great. I do love you, but... You've been beaten by an active item I was not expecting. I mean, Flight even gives us the half-price entry uh, for Cash Rooms, too. I mean, there's just so many benefits to having Flight. Uh, like, not just that, but obviously we've got the defensive benefits as well. And it's an active item with an offensive benefit on top of that. Like, there's just too many reasons. Too many reasons to keep the pony. Oh, Compound Fracture is amazing. Very nice. Really like Compound Fracture. Also, Random Soul Heart because of Crawl Space was unexpected, but pretty lovely. Uh, Vasculitis is nice. I'm pretty happy with my decision so far. I'm happy with my decision so far. Oh, I've just attacked enemies that I can't even damage. You fool! Honestly, yeah, Compound Fracture with Vasculitis is two pretty interesting items to pair together, to be honest. 
Like, we, we split off shots when we hit enemies, and then more shots split off when we kill them. I like it. But Compound Fracture is one of my favourite items, so I'm very happy to have it. I think this makes for a, a pretty good start to a run, to be honest. Um, I will go and, you know what, check out my cash room for half price. Why not? I'm also fairly certain I know where secret room is. We get ourselves summon the Psy Hunter and throw three fireballs that summon minions on impacts. Okay. Go for that. I'm pretty sure secret room is in the next room. Just here. I'll check around here first so I make sure. Yeah, I'm almost certain it's here. Copper bomb, unfortunately. Luckily, the copper bomb was nice to us. HP up or tears up? I'm going to take the HP up. Yeah, we got tears up as well. Lovely. Very, very nice. Some pennies we wouldn't have got there otherwise. Oh my lord. That is quite the implosion. Probably should have saved that for the boss, to be honest. I didn't realize it was going to be quite so aggressive. I like it, but I was not expecting it. And, goddamn, I was going to say another active item, but technically we don't have to get the uh, fruity plum thingy. Ooh, staples, nice. Going to save it for the angel deal right now. If we had one more red heart, I'd definitely go devil deal, but angel deal's the way to go right now, I think. And I think we're on for a good run thus far. I think we're on for a good run. We've got an XL floor here. We've got nerve pinch. Double tap the trigger. Um, double tap to trigger a nerve pinch. You take fake damage and gain a speed down when that happens. Have as an 80% chance to activate your active item for free, even if it's uncharged. Um, your, you can pinch your nerve uh, randomly by walking too much without triggering an active item. It's, a, it's kind of a weird one. I don't like the idea of the speed down, but... I believe this active sets our speed. So, mm, no it doesn't. Okay, I thought it wasn't going to let us actually take a speed down there, but apparently I'm wrong. Maybe if I put the active down and pick it back up, it'll reset our speed. I don't know exactly how that works. It's a weird item. It's a weird item. I'm sure I'm going to end up losing some speed over this that I don't really want to lose. Pills are always good. Let's take them. That a totus. Good. This Psy Hunter's doing a bang up job, by the way. He's just absolutely killing it right now. Crack both of these. Ooh. Didn't actually mean to use the Bible there. But I think our um godly tomato thing is worthwhile here. I know the um the clip is good, but getting random god headshots. They don't have herming, but random god headshots seems useful. I like the idea behind it. Oh, you're actually an enemy. <laughs> for some reason, I thought you were, like, charmed, charmed. My bad. As for the question of the day today, um, what's a status effect in, like, a video game that you just think is really cool or really interesting? Um, I, I, like, one of the things I quite like is um, on, like, Diablo and games like that when they have, like, curses. I wish more games implemented curses. As in, like, cares you can apply to enemies, like, the Crepify and all that sort of stuff. I really like that sort of stuff in gaming. Really? You moved out the way? Can't believe you'd do this. You can see how the Godhead ones are pretty goddamn useful, right? So much stuff. And here's our second item room. we got plenty of pennies to work with here as well. Um, Unfortunately, an active I don't particularly want, but it's a pretty good one. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, dropping our active and picking it back up doesn't reset our speed, which is a little annoying. I was kind of hoping it would. I don't really know when best to use Nerve Pinch in this case. Like, I, I think I need an active. I suppose, actually, mm, I've just had a bit of an idea. I could take some speed down in order to get a bunch of HP, maybe, with, ner with Nerve Pinch. Go in here real quick. Probably a good idea to grab that. Uh, basically, my, my little idea that I've got here is if I come over back to this and I grab that, we lose a bit of speed there. Yeah, a bit of speed there. 80% chance to use this, so... There you go. We gained a pretty good amount of HP there for a little bit of speed. I think it's pretty worthwhile overall. I think overall that's pretty good. Gotcha, boy. 
Yeah, Nerf Pinch seems like with a few actives, it could be really, really good. I mean, like, with certain actives, I bet it's amazing. Like, get it with, like, Mega Mush. Oh, my lord. With ones like... An active like this is pretty useless. Because we're on a two-room charge. There's not much point in uh, sacrificing speed to get a free use of a two-room charge active, is there? Good. Get your tears out the way. This is an XL floor, so obviously... Few more rooms than normal to pass through. Oh god, the the, the sun is shining. It's it's early in the morning or early-ish, and the sun is shining and it's bloody like reflects off my stream. What the hell happened there? Did I nerve pinch by accident? Yes, I did. My bad. I am gonna end up doing that quite a lot. Is the only thing I need to be careful not to be tap firing because um yeah, I'm gonna accidentally nerve pinch quite a lot. I think. I really don't want to be doing that, because that's going to cause me uh, a lot of speed downs I don't particularly want. It would be nice to get some speed up items to counteract it a little bit, I guess. Like I said, it's just going to kind of keep going. Come on, Copper Bomb. Why you got to be like this? Lovely. We're doing really well on consumables right now. So many bombs and keys and stuff. This isn't even the right way. Oh, how did that miss? Come on now. <laughs> I like used it and it just fucking carried me off on a random direction, seemingly. We do get the friends here helping us out. Right. Back and away we go. We do have 15 cent now, so we can go and check out the member card shop. Uh, I didn't want to view it until I had enough money to buy something. Even though this technically might not be enough, because the price is a bit more random down there, but... Doesn't matter. Restock the shop replaces everything um, on sale. Replaces everything on sale with items. Increases the price of everything on sale by 25%. That's kind of an interesting idea. I didn't mean to buy that sack, by the way, so... Um, there's nothing down here we want anyways, so that's fine. That's fine. But we'll keep this maxed out credit card. I've never had this before. I like the idea behind it. Ah, damn it. Did get some extra angel chance from that, though. That's not bad. Yeah, I like the idea behind a maxed out credit card. Being able to uh, increase the price of items, but make every single thing an into an item. So, on one of those uh, shops, we could get very lucky and get some good stuff. But we're going we're gonna to need, like, quite a lot of money to make it work. Like, I'd say we need, like, 30 cent minimum to make it work. Which is quite a bit of cheddar, really. It's quite a bit to, uh, to ask. But we can make it work. Uh, one minute. I'm just going to see if I can... Nah. I thought maybe I could eke it into the right spot and it would give us a secret room, but... It was not meant to be. I'd like to use that, but I need to keep my maxed out credit card for later. I'm trying to think of ways that we can gain more money. There's not really any active ways I can do that, is there? I'll check in here. Could get a black heart from one of these, maybe. Half black heart, at least. Good enough. Ah, technically I can do this to get out as well. So we actually have completely free uh, cash rooms now. Which is really nice with this. Um, ooh, what is this? Mother's cell phone. Spawns a doppel as a second character. Doppels have random stats and items. Intriguing. Wow, that's a lot of spiders, my guy. A lot of spiders, my guy. I don't know if I like this or not. It's kind of a weird item. It's it's cool, but I don't think I'm going to take it. Because for one of the main reasons I'm not going to take it is um, I actually don't like playing with multiple characters. It confuses the ever-living shit out of me. Yeah, he's, he's going to be a, a problem for me, I think.
He's got some Samuel bullshit going on as well. Okay, I think he's dead. Yes, he is dead. My bad, I guess. My bad. This guy has perished pretty quickly. Good, good. And we get Binky. Pretty good. I do need a tears up, so that's a, a pretty sizable one. We're hoping for a swift, swift kill here and an angel deal. We'll see. The god headshots are doing bits to him, which is nice. Don't remember what attack this is. Oh, this is the burn one. I can deal with this one. I can deal with this one. This one's fine. Damn it. Oh, that, I was going to say that bomb was terrible and it actually worked out. And we get this, which isn't ideal. Um, it gives us some shot speed, though, I guess. And we just carry on going down. Unfortunately, we did not get a angel deal there that I was hoping for. I think this run has has it within it to, to withstand them. We do get ourselves the uh, increased angel chance for this floor. We get some extra money here. As well as a speed up. Lovely. Yeah, so hopefully we can gather more money here and make this uh, max out credit card in the shop work. I've got some... Big plans for this bad boy. I really hope it works. I mean, that th if we had um, this plus uh, Crooked Penny now, that would have been interesting. Oh, there's another one of you li ar lying around. Gotcha, gotcha. Got plenty of bombs to work with, so that's good. Um, but I want plenty of money to work with, too. Oh, my God. That was abysmal. Ooh, extra pill. Lovely. We will grab whatever this pill is. Range up. Nice. Oh, God. I did not expect there to be a ton of flies in there. I know that they can spawn flies, but normally it's like one or two. There was absolutely fucking loads in that one. God, these are likely to be annoying as all hell. Yeah, actually, it wasn't too bad. Ooh, 6% chance for a tail heart, so that's potentially quite good. Uh, but I do still think that the... Um, Tomatoes. Pretty amazing. Unfortunately, we've lost a lot of the hearts that we traded our... Uh, that we traded our lovely, lovely speed for, which isn't ideal. I'd rather have kept all that, thank you. I'm not liking this case of darkness. I'm screwed of the dark. Nah, it's just kind of annoying for the, like, YouTube videos. I can see, but it's like, can you guys see okay? So I was a bit of a worry. Oh, god damn. You launched me far, boy. I think we've got good killing power at the moment, though. We could definitely use a damage up um, within the next floor or so, but it's not, like, mandatory or anything. Okay, here's our boss room. Still looking for item room and, of course, that elusive shop. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't realize we were missing a red heart. I'm sorry. I'd left that one behind, not even realizing. God damn it. Yeah, look at look at with uh, the godhead shots plus all the compound fracture stuff. We're just clearing rooms so fast. That was a bit of a bad use of that there. My bad. Ooh, we got one of these hearts. That's nice. We probably shouldn't have picked it up yet, but oh well. Right. We go in here. We see what's what. We got more of these uh, poops, which is good. And try and get an extra black heart out of these guys. Sadly, no such luck for me. Right, item room, what do you hold for us? Chance to shoot a barrage of five tiers that deal a third of your damage. Enemies killed by this barrage have a five percent chance to drop a heart. Okay, that's uh, that's different. Ooh, yeah, there you go. That was, that was the barrage. I, I kind of like that. A compound fracture and stuff. That's pretty cool. Right. Oop, I just took some damage there. I think that was fake damage. Uh, right. Drop down here. See if there's anything worthwhile already. There is not. Max out credit card. <laughs> cool. Okay. So, a PhD is I, kind of worthless. <laughs> Bell Clapper's good. Abandoned Box is nice. Um, think I'm going to go with Abandoned Box for now. 
Random familiar could be really good. Here's the cactus. It wasn't that good. Um, it's fine. And we'll see if we get any more money for any of those other fellas there. That worked out pretty well, though. Man. Fuck it. I know it's a streak, but fucking hell. Right, I do need to make sure, though, that my TM trainer is, uh... Is giving me the right stuff. Okay. Basically, I need to make sure that TM trainer is giving me a roundup of what is actually happening to the items. Because I can't be taking blind items. This will guaranteed get me killed. Um, so I've got to, I've got to be taking items where I know what they do. Um, let's see how that works out, shall we? This might have been a really bad idea, but I've done it now. Oh, dude, I'm taking a lot of damage right now. Oh, dude, what the hell? Oh, it was Nerve Pinch. Right, we do have it. Okay, so here we've got Grant's Bookmark. Killing enemy has a 20% chance to deal damage around Isaac. Yeah, so we can take that. That's fine. Um, and then here we've got plus four keys, Blood Puppy. Upon taking damage, Grant's Rotten Meat for the room. Deal damage around and then fart. And then here we've got plus one heart container, grants more options. On clearing a room, grants Minos for the room, and then use Black Hole. That's fine as well. Walk into- Why is Nerve Pinch going off when I'm just walking around? I'm going to lose so much speed from this goddamn Nerve Pinch, man. Okay, down we go. Look at that, I was just walking. Fuck off, Nerve Pinch. Kind of bullshit, to be honest. I need I, I, like, I need to have some level of speed. I can't be losing it all to this bullshit. I get Black, ha black Hole at the end of every room, which is actually kind of useful. Right, plus four bombs grants cancer. On use, use uh, the iPad. Grant Bag of Trash for the room. Yeah, we can take that. Oh, it's an active item. I see. They did not grant us cancer. Wait, wait, no, 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 it did, it did, it did. But, can we really lose flight for that? Right. Plus four coins, grants whatever that is. Uh, fire rate, luck. Hitting enemies a 5% chance to convert all grid objects in the room into hopper. I don't know what Hopper is, but I'm not going to take that because it sounds scary. Sounds a bit ooky spooky for me. Do we get Curse of Darkness again? Can we fuck off with the darkness, please? I want to be able to fucking see. Black Hole's going to allow us to destroy a bunch of rocks and stuff easily, though, which is nice. Nice. Yeah, I gotta say, Curse of Darkness is annoying the hell out of me. Can't bloody see anything. Yeah, Team Trainer could allow us to do some wacky stuff. It could be pretty good. I mean, like that look there. Killing enemy has a chance to like damage all enemies in the room is a, is a pretty good one that we've got so far. Seems to happen fairly regularly, so that's kind of nice. Ooh, soul Heart there as well, lovely. We just got to make sure we don't take anything that just decimates our run. Anything that spawns additional enemies or anything that, like, triggers an item that we don't want to trigger are things that we've got to avoid. Also, anything that has an alarmingly long description where we can't actually read everything it does is stuff we can't take. Because it could have something at the bottom that we can't read that is really, really, really bad. A lot of them don't have that, but th th there is a small chance. Oh, I got hit by something then. I don't even know what. Destroy some of these. 
crawl space there, lovely. Okay, let's have a look, see here. Um, heart container heals, grants birthday cake. Upon taking damage, use birth certificate and then grant ice off of the room. That's kind of crazy, using birth certificate on damage is kind of mental. Um, black heart, on collecting pickup, fart, convert all tears in the room into bloody key. Then use Curse of Saturn. Deal damage in a tile around you. I don't know. Upon taking damage, it teleports us here, which is kind of interesting. It could ruin our run. I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble. Hey up, fella. Yeah, basically... On, on getting hit, we always teleport, which I don't know how useful that's going to end up being. Oh, lovely. Got to gotta really give it up for this room. It does mean we have to do pretty much every room without getting hit, which is kind of sketchy. We may have soft locked ourselves a little bit. We'll see. There's plenty of characters we've done where we can do rooms without being hit, so. I'm not going to say it's too bad. Right. Grant's box top. Upon taking damage, far. Uh, Grant's chamber the vampire um, for the room, then use Ezao Jr. We can't be using Ezao Jr. all the time. That would be hell on earth. Yes, I got hit there, and it teleported me here. Do not use Black Hole. That would be very bad. <laughs> oh, we gulped our trinket as well. Oh, wait. Does it gulp our trinket every fucking time? Okay, this might be incredible. <laughs> this might be incredible. If I can pick stuff up without using Black Hole. Otherwise, this is kind of fucked. Um, what am I actually looking for here, do we think? What am I actually looking for here? Filigree feathers, kind of good, but obviously not super useful here. Um, randomizes shop prices. 25% mm. damage multiplier, every new floppage with a chance to get a broken heart. It's kind of sketchy. Cracked crown is, of course, very good. I think we'll just take that. Oh, no. Okay, th thank god we can throw it and then grab it. This might be very good, because it gulps our trinket every single time we get hit. So this could be... This could be very, very spicy. Right. Oh! I just took a oh, nerve pinch. T triggers damage. Nerve pinch triggers damage. Okay. We're going to have a lot of trinkets by the end of this. A lot of trinkets. Nerve Pinch is going to cause me some problems, I'm sure. I'm probably going to need a trinket like Goat Hoof that ups my speed just to make up for all the speed Nerve Pinch is going to make me lose. I've not seen a single bugger tier come out yet, though. Maybe they're just not coloured with their... Uh, Compound Fracture. Oh, there, there was one. Yeah, I just saw one then. Oh, bugger. Plus damage. This could be a longy. This run could be a longy. I have to think of, like, the best trinkets to grab each time. God. It's actually kind of hard to not get hit here. I'm trying my gosh damn best. We got it. Okay, nice. Take that. Down we go. Oh my god, this is going to be a weird run. <laughs> I'm excited, but also apprehensive at the same time. Dark Penny. It's so a chance to spawn half a black heart. Nice.
It's different ones every time, as well. Um, the fuck was that over there? Gold on one of these. Um, something moved all these. Ooh, there's crystal key up there. I think I've got to take crystal key. It's just fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be pretty wacky. We like it. We probably don't want to take any more items, to be honest. Plus five coins grants blue baby soul tracker. On luck, uh, on clearing room, use that then. Uh, nah, we don't want to use the, that book. That could screw us up. There's going to be a lot of items we say no to here, but mainly because we've now got just an unlimited source of trinkets. I think that's it's pretty pretty good. Hello. Goodbye. We need a trinket that's, that can help us gain more HP next, I think. Oh, really? I was really hoping for HP there so I could hurt myself and get another trinket. Basically, any time we find soul heart health now, we can just hurt ourselves to gain more trinkets. And every now and again, we're going to accidentally nerve pinch and uh, cause ourselves problems. Speed up is very nice. We'd be needing a speed up. Lovely stuff. I'm liking all the black holes. Another black hole. <laughs> Need to always throw the black hole at the cactus. Right, what have we got going on here? Two bombs. Grants Moonstone on use. Use half. Okay, we don't we don't need an active, do we? Three random key pickups. Three of spades. Got shenanigans going on in here. You see, like that. Oh, bloody hell. Didn't mean to get hit there. Okay. What we're looking for next. What we're looking for next. I mean, golden trinkets are always going to be something we want to look for. Blessed Penny is obviously a good one for HP. Wouldn't mind that. My stem is kick. Um... That would make, I think, a one-room charge. That'd be pretty useful. It's always going to be the trick here, is find, trying to find the right thing to pick up. This. This is very good for us. <laughs> okay, this slightly problematic here. That we uh, can't really get out of that room very easily. Um, we've got like a curved horn in here, maybe. What does Crutch do again? Tears of a chance, uh, with chance base effects gain herming. Um, yeah, that seems useful. Basically, we need a penny. Once we get pennies, we can we can do some crazy shit. Okay, let's try and not get hit this time. Yeah, so the chance base effects gaining herming thing is uh, doing some good shit right now, you can see. Okay, we got out of this room finally. Lovely. So basically, as I understand right now, if I come over here, let's come over to you. Let's blow you up in hopes that we get pennies. We didn't. We got a pill, which is also kind of nice. Oh, that could give us pennies. Yeah, every single uh, luck-based effect that we have on our tiers now gives it herming and size, which is very good. So now we actually do have godhead tiers whenever we get the godhead effect, because that counts as a, a luck-based effect. Come on, game. I just need a lot of pennies. Why is my active not charging anymore? What's what's the deal with that? 
I gained a charge there. Penny. Okay. So now, we can bomb ourselves for the cost of one penny to get back in here. Uh, right. What's next? What's next in the docket? Oh. Fucking nerve pinch, man. Why does it just go off randomly? It's so fucking annoying. Um, what's this anarchy thing? Okay, that's fire mind and stuff. We don't really want fire mind. Locking a chest with a 33% chance to spawn with the key. It's kind of fine. Thank you. Um, I guess at this point we will take this. Why not? Oh, uh, wait, what? There's another room? I didn't realize there was multiple rooms. Um... I'm like, I'm going infinite here. I'm going infinite, there's something happening. Uh, da -da -da -da. what's next, what's next, what's next? Uh, curved horn. Oh, sigil of Baphomet. I think I gotta take that, haven't I? So where's it gonna take me now? I might need to, like, spawn a fool card in to get out of here. A golden pill in here. Wait, does it spawn a penny every time? If it spawns a penny in here every time, we... We have some... We have some work to do. <laughs> Get brainworm in there, why not? I didn't pick up the goddamn penny this time, though I'm stupid. It's okay, I can sacrifice one heart to carry this charade on. Right, go pick up the penny first, don't forget that this time. Yeah, there's a penny every time. Okay, awesome. Um, yeah, why not take that? We're gonna need a full card to get out of here, though, because otherwise we're just trapped. Then what's next? Chance to smelt your current trinket and picking up a coin. Sounds useful. <laughs> Oh, we got Amalgamation, finally. Um, I'll never stop. <laughs> so now our trinkets just have a chance to be smelted anyways. What, what's going on with some of the trinkets just like... Oh, uh, those two combine into a, one trinket, I see. It's kind of inconvenient, to be honest. I'm just going to bomb to try and scatter these guys a little bit. If I can get through. Thank you. Right. I did see another cancer over there, and I'm wondering if I can hold two, so I will very much try and do that now. That I can. That I can. Might be here for some time, people. Settle in. We have broken the game. In a beautiful, beautiful way. Um, what's next? Hmm. Trying to think what's going to be the next good thing to pick up, but I'm not entirely sure. Fuse cutters is, is decent enough, I guess. More damage? I could just keep getting more and more damage, I guess. <laughs> Back through this where we go. I wonder if Cracked Crown stacks as well. 0.6 damage. Uh, taking damage has an ever-increasing chance to give you that or Mum's Knife. Eh, whatever. I guess just in case we should grab this. 
Has, has Amalgamation not actually triggered once yet? Amalgamation should be triggering every now and again. Get them two joined together again there. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. 3% chance. Our curved horns there. We'll grab another curved horn. Yeah, Amalgamation's not gone off once yet, which is slightly disappointing. I'd like that, thank you. Oh, there, there you go. Amalgamation went off that time. But it doesn't let us... thingy stay in here. We've got another crutch there if we want it. Hmm... I guess I could... That didn't work. Oops. My bad. Oh my god, I don't, this is gonna be... I, like I said, I'm gonna be here for fucking ever, aren't I? Um, I wonder if I can hold two of these. I just wanna see, why not? Doesn't seem like having two of them does anything, unfortunately. But I had to try. Another curved horn. Uh, th yeah, at this point, I mean, just keep taking cancer and curved horn as much as we can. <laughs> There's other things that are good, but these these are the real the real treats. Allows the player to see enemy health. That's kind of kind of nice. I'll take that. Why not? I didn't take a penny. Keep fucking doing that. God damn it. So okay, the health sacrifice is worth it. Take the penny, you fool. Um, what's next? Golden. Taking damage in the 75th century, leaving to kind of, uh, a petrifying creep. I don't really need that. 8% chance to spawn a pill. Kind of useful, potentially. Yeah, I'll grab that. Why not? Curved horns there again. We could come back and get another curved horn if we want. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we might want first. Hey, thank you. Useful. Increase the flat damage dealt by your bombs is kind of good. Picking up a soul has a 50% chance to grant. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely take that. That seems useful. Very useful indeed. Okay, I've got eight more to go. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Speed? Oh, yes. Speed increases. Very, very good for us. Speed up. Using a card as a 10% chance. Uh, ooh, I definitely love this item. Moxie's eye is very nice. It's not, like, super powerful or anything. It's just useful to have. And what is next? Avoidance is fine. Give me that penny back. <clears throat> what does this do? A lot of taking damage effects. We don't really need those, do we? Another curved horn. I mean, I'll, I'll, I won't say no. <laughs> I won't say no to another curved horn. Ah, right. Last few. Try and get some unique stuff this time. Some more tier effects. We don't want any any take damage effects, because they just don't really do much for us. What does this leaf do? Damage taken does not apply any penalties. What does that mean? Shops are replaced with angel deal shops. That's pretty awesome, but not super useful. Dingleberry's very nice. I'll take Dingleberry. How many curved holes do we have in here now? Four? Three? Right. Planetarians have an extra choice. Additionally, taking damage spawns a cluster. Nah. 
Um, there's a seal here. We could try and get a uh, kid's drawing three times, I guess. Uh, where we go in? It's just been wild. This has. It's just been wild. I kind of love it. I kind of love it. Don't know what to go for next is the only thing. This is kind of interesting. I'm going to take this. Which turned into something else. Okay, it doesn't matter. I don't know what happened there. I didn't pick up a penny again, you fucker. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. Um... Spawn. Oh, I think I've got it in here, actually. Yeah, spawn card. There you go. It's full card to get out of here. Okay. Let's let's keep it going. I have a feeling we're, we're uh, significantly stronger than previously. <gasps> a penny. There you go. We probably don't need to pick up any other TM trainer items whatsoever, to be honest. I think we're pretty pretty much golden at this point. Pretty much golden. I am in love with this run. Who'd have thought? I mean, obviously TM Trainer being able to read what it does does make it a lot stronger, but who'd have thought TM Trainer would lead to <laughs> something as crazy as this? Um, damage, luck, on clearing a room converts all cards in the room to bridge bombs, firing a T has a 5% chance to convert all pickups in the room into butt bombs, killing enemies has a 20% chance to deal, you see these we, we don't want to take, it, it scrolls off of the screen, that's scary. Why not go for this guy though? The ultimate power that is trinkets, my guy. Trinkets are just too good, they're simply too good. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Um, what are we going for this time around? More damage. Less charges. More speed. Meteorites will passively fall. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Why not? I like meteorites. We've got a penny here to regain it. Oh, I don't know why that happened, but fair enough. Oh, it was Nerve Pinch doing its thing again. More cancer. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Right, Nerve Pinch, don't be a dick. <laughs> oh my god. They, the, the meteorites are huge and they gain herming. We like this. We very much like this. What a wacky run. The infinite trinket run. Of course I could go deeper, but not much need. This is clearly enough for right now. The meteorites are doing great work. This is why I love having this, uh, this eye for the mapping, so I know which way to go. Makes things a hell of a lot more simple. Like, 90% of our shots are now herming as well. I love it. I just love the fact that we've made, like, made our, our own ghetto godhead. Brainworm's in there as well, so we've got some other versions of herming going on. And our health is still good. And we've got this 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 penny trinket that gives you gives you the penny heart. Isn't just useful for the cheese. It's also just very, very good. We've also got Sigil of Baphomet in here as well, which is, of course, making us invincible most of the time. So there's all sorts of shenanigans going on that are providing a, a hell of a lot of benefit to us right now. <laughs> Meteorites, I love them. Nice easy kill there. Right, up we go. 
We have like literally a full sheet of just trinkets on the side there, pretty much. Oh really? I hate it when I get hit by one of these right as the enemy dies. Looks like we're going the right way for now at least. Yeah, this this is this is TM trainer min maxing for sure, this. Oh, this is the wrong way, god damn it. What card is that? Death Ech. Come on. Meteorite, hit the door. Thank you. All of these can be the right way. Do not pick up that trinket. That trinket is the one that turns you into the lost, essentially. Would be very bad for us. This is the wrong way as well. I know so much, but I can... Fucking not go the right way every time. Right, do not pick up that trinket. It's very, very bad. I don't know where the fire mine shots are coming from. Is that just like something to do with the meteorite? Is this the wrong way as well? Are you absolutely kidding me? I know so much about when, which way to go in the game. It's just screwing me every time. At least I didn't waste my time. Makes our life easier that we can just... Ch turn around and go the right way. Oh, there's some polities in here as well. Hello. Okay. Boss time. Don't think you're going to be having a super great time. Their ladder. Oh god, a meteor hit him right as he fell. It's because the meteors, like I said, they have herming now. Pretty beautiful, right. Last floor. We're probably going to do Mega Satan as well, because why not? In fact, we could just go straight into Mega Satan right away. Although, saying that... Okay, apparently I don't have the key piece. I don't. I thought I got the key piece. I guess not. I'm going to go for any of those. One second, I'm getting a message through. Um, uh, one second. Right, let's finish off this floor then. There's a room that's invisible to me miles away, and I don't know why. I mean, that's the right way. I'm unsure. I'll keep going this way for now, because why not? Okay, yeah, this was the wrong way. I'm, I'm gonna guess that that room over there is showing me is the correct way then. Nice. I'm drowsy there as well. Lovely. Just don't pick up any more items. We don't need them. There is no need for us. Some soul heart there as well. It's a shame we can't carry the black hole into the next room. That'd be pretty useful. I kind of forgot we had the crystal uh, key. We could have taken like a bunch of crystal keys, I guess, and just got like guaranteed red rooms. That would have been kind of wacky. Okay, so there is a room over here, but we can't get to it. Another red room. Maybe it's this way then? Did we get to this room? Might be. Oh, no, no. Eh, actually, no, it could be. could be. Yeah, definitely could be. Keep going. Man. We are strong. There is some... Like, trinkets are inherently, like... I always used to think trinkets are like, oh, there's little side powers. They're not very strong. But actually, trinkets are meant to be quite strong because you can only ever hold one unless you have specific circumstances that allow otherwise, which makes them so it's like... It's a hard choice. So some of them, some of them are weak, but there's a lot of them that are really powerful. Bugger tears here doing their business. 
Remember, if we get hit, we get teleported out, so we're going to try our best to not take damage during this fight. That is of utmost importance. Luckily, um, our Sigil of Baphomet is keeping us invincible for a lot of the fight. I'm about to lose that invincibility, though. There you go, we got him. Beautiful stuff. What a, what a fantastically fun run. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.